Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm really sorry it's been so long. Um, lots been going on. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, we've been furloughed from work and uh, so we've had to kind of scramble and do a lot of things. So anyway, um, hope everybody out there is staying uh, safe and healthy. Um, and I wanted to, you know, kind of show you some of the things that we've been able to do on the vehicle even though there's been a lot of activity that has not been related to the vehicle. So uh, first thing I want to say is uh, if you guys are doing 3D printing and uh, you can go to the Prusa website and uh, potentially print out the uh, headgear for face shields for the first responders and the medical folks, uh, we're committing our printers to doing that right now. So we're not printing any more car parts until uh, all of this is, uh, is clear. But if you can help out, uh, please do. Um, so uh, go to that website and, uh, and uh, see what you can help with. Anyway, let's, let's check out what we've done. So one of the first things that um, we've worked really hard on is getting these uh, doors to latch. And so we have the actual OEM latch system from the Aventador. Uh, these, obviously, these are the uh, OEM um, sill plates for the Aventador on the interior. I don't have the uh, handles yet, but we may model those up and 3D print them. So that's one of the things that we're going to uh, see about doing if we can't find any. But... What we've been able to do is go ahead and build the latch system. Uh, it's kind of roughed in here. You can see it behind. Uh, we've used uh, steel to reinforce the latch area. It's a pretty smooth um, system. So right now the doors close pretty nicely without any uh, um, fuss or muss. And then we also have uh, Relatively good gaps, but we're going to uh, work on those gaps, obviously, because it's really short, small down there and really big up here. So that's one of the things we have to do. Um, so we've done uh, both doors. We've done the driver door and we've done the passenger door. The next thing is, is I'm redoing all the electronics. I don't know if some of you remember the electronics were uh, underneath up front and it was with the lift it wasn't too big of a deal to work on but uh, I decided that we should probably put it in a more uh, easily accessible location so I'm putting it uh, here behind the driver and the passenger um, in the cabin and then that way we can uh, also vent the electronics uh, so that they don't get too hot and it makes it so much easier to work on. Now, while we've been doing that, we've been uh, getting some of the systems up and running. So let's take a walk around here. So we're doing one system at a time. And currently, the system that we have working is the ECU and the dash. So we've actually got a Holly 7-inch uh, um, digital dash in the center. And then we've got the two, uh, these two banks, um, uh, CAN bus uh, gauges. So these are going to be really nice. It's going to sort of simulate the real Aventador uh, system. So if we turn it on, you can see how that looks. So it boots up pretty quickly. So there we go. Um, so we'll have the side gauges there for like boost and fuel pressure and stuff like that. And then we'll have the center gauge. Uh, now this center gauge is, is uh, configurable. So I can actually change the graphics and everything on it. So we're going to try to get the graphics and the layout to look more like uh, OEM. Um, so we'll get close. Um, it's not going to be perfect, but I think this is a pretty nice dash the way it is uh, just sitting here. So the next things on the list are to be able to get um, the engine running. So that's our next uh, goal. So we're going to make sure that we get all the things to wire up for that. And basically, we have to do the brake system. 
uh, wiring and uh, fuel pump wiring. So not too much to do, so we'll get to that pretty soon. The other thing we've done is we've mounted the AC control. This is uh, from uh, uh, Dakota Digital, um, and it controls a vintage air system. So that's what we're going to do the AC with. Uh, remember, we had uh, an episode on hijacking uh, these switches. So we've been successful in doing the uh, window, door window switches, and also the lift system. So when we get to the lift system wiring, uh, we'll be able to demonstrate that. And then uh, we were successful in hijacking the actual start button. So I even got some LEDs in there to light it up when it's uh, either in start mode or run mode. So, and it turns everything on and off. So that's pretty, pretty fancy. We also uh, printed a uh, kind of a plug or filler piece here to make the dash look a little bit more fluid so that uh, the parking brake, which we are also hijacking, <laughs> And we have an electrical solenoid to uh, actuate and deactivate the uh, parking brake. So we'll be getting that system up and running as well. Um, so anyway, uh, let's go uh, see uh, one more thing uh, that we've been working on. This is one of the other things that we've been able to uh, get going. Um, I think I posted some stuff on the lights. We were actually able to get the light buckets working. We obviously have to fit them into uh, these uh, kind of areas right here. So I'm still working on mounting them uh, into the car, but they really give it a, a nice look rather than having kind of the dead eyes that it <laughs> had for quite some time. So anyway, I think these are looking pretty good. Um, let me know if you need the files. Uh, I can send them to you on a, uh, you know, asking basis. So. so one of the other things we were able to do is uh, finish printing this uh, internal structure for the side mirrors. Um, so this is, uh, there's three pieces here. There's this motor mount. There's um, the uh, interface from the motor to the stock and then there's the main stock. This is all printed in uh, carbon fiber nylon uh, at about 80% fill. Uh, we fitted it together. It's uh, doing pretty well. There's actually a gasket that goes here, which we will be printing out a TPU. Another one that goes here. Again, we'll be printing that out a TPU. So we'll be mounting these up soon. Um, it's pretty strong and it, and it, and it went together okay. I still haven't refined the model perfectly yet, um, but again, it's available if, if uh, you would like these, uh, these models for the internal structure, so. Well, thanks again for watching. Uh, I'm sorry it's taken so long. I just haven't had real, a whole lot of time to do videos like this. Um, so hopefully you guys are uh, still watching the project while you're, uh, sequestered in your homes or working from home. Um, we want you all to be safe um, and healthy, so please follow the guidelines that are laid out in your community uh, as far as social distancing and everything, because we want to get rid of this, uh, this whole problem very, very soon, not only for our economy, but for all of our projects and, and uh, get people back to work, which I think is, uh, is, is the most important. Anyway, if you haven't, uh, please subscribe um, and uh, keep the comments coming. Uh, again, I really appreciate all of the constructive criticism and all of the uh, goodwill that has gone uh, for this project. So uh, stay tuned. We'll see you soon.